What's going on, people? This is Tashira Say for Computer Music Academy, and welcome back to CMA Answers. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to multi track with Sample Tank 3. Sample Tank, Contact, Omnisphere, and several other instruments are what you call multi timbral, meaning you can have multiple instruments within the same plugin playing at once, and you can even route those to individual outputs. Right now, I'm working on a beat only using Sample Tank 3. Let me show you how this breaks down. Track one is my drums. Track two is bass. Track three is another bass. Got a few tracks I'm not using at the moment, but over here I have a muted guitar. And a wad guitar. Now what I wanna do is add a piano part to this, and it's a little bit involved, but I'll make it as simple as possible. First off, I want you to note that Sample Tank is on track one. There's only one instance and everything is being routed and triggered by these channels right here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go back to play and I'm gonna select my instrument. Let's use this uh, Eco piano. And this one right here. And I'm playing my keyboard, but nothing is being triggered. One, because we haven't set the output from Sample Tank. Two, because we haven't created the tracks within Ableton to receive those signals. So let's go back to mix and we're on track nine for the piano. I'm gonna click right here. And since track eight is 15 and 16, I'm gonna set this to 17 and 18. Next, I need to create a MIDI track and an audio track. I'm gonna go back to my MIDI track and go down here to MIDI two. I'm gonna select sample tank, which is on track one, remember that and track in, we want to trigger track nine. Got that, and I'm going to arm that track, go to my audio track. I'm going to select the audio coming from sample tank three. And remember, we're coming out of output 17 and 18, so I'm gonna set that here. Set my monitor to in. Ah uh, yes, we are ready to go. Go back over here, press record. And go back here. That's it. Now, of course, you can create one MIDI track and continue to change the instrument that is triggering, then record the audio. But I like to keep the MIDI and the audio just in case I want to go back later and change something. One other thing I wanted to show you is you can see that I have a ridiculous amount of tracks and it's very, very messy here. What I'm going to do is click on track one, hold down shift, click on the last track and you can see everything has been highlighted. Now I'm going to press Control, then G, and now all of these tracks have become a group, and I can hit this arrow right here, boom. Now I have a plenty of room to add more instruments, MIDI tracks, effects, whatever I wanna do. Yeah, it's that simple. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for more reviews, tutorials, and exclusive courses, make your way over to ComputerMusicAcademy.com. See you next time.